Hi everyone, this is Sarah Clear from the Rediscovery Centre again. And today we're going to, I'm going to be setting you guys an engineering challenge. So engineering is really all about problem solving and taking an idea and making it a reality. So this is something you can do at home and get really creative, get really inventive and see how you get on. So we're going to be using simple materials that you're going to have around the house. So things like a uh, waste newspaper, just make sure your mums and dads have actually finished with it first, otherwise it might get a bit cross. Uh, scissors, some tape, and then a measuring tape, if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it, you might have a ruler or something you can use instead. And then some kind of a weight, because we're not only going to be building bridges today, we're also going to be testing them out, seeing if we can improve them, seeing how we can make the best bridge possible. So what I'm going to start with today is just demonstrating a little bit about how you can test out your materials to see if it's fit for purpose, to see if we might need to change it up a little bit as well. So this activity is all about building a bridge from newspaper and tape. So we're going to start with our investigation. So here we've got a simple sheet of newspaper. So I've got two little blocks here. I'm going to try and build a bridge in between the two of these. Now if I just lay a sheet of newspaper in between these two, to move them slightly closer, is this going to be strong enough to be able to hold up not even our weight? We'll give that a try first. Definitely not. Let's see if it can even hold up our measuring tape. Absolutely not. So that wouldn't really work as a bridge. That wouldn't really solve our problem of trying to get from one side to the other. So let's, still using the newspaper, let's try using different shapes to see what we could do. So here, I've just folded up the newspaper like an accordion and folded it out again. So will this newspaper in this shape here be strong enough to be able to hold up our measuring tape? It actually can. This is using triangles here, which are a much stronger shape than just a flat shape. So that should work a bit well. Still though, it's kind of falling a little bit in the middle, so it's not a really, really good design. So something else we could try is using our accordion shape as well. I've just put it between two flat sheets of paper. Now let's put that over. So already it's not falling down in the middle. And let's see if it's actually strong enough to hold up our tape measure. So we're definitely getting there. So this is all about thinking through what kind of shapes are the strongest? What kind of designs could we use? Um, having a look, doing some research, looking at bridges all around the world as well. What different type bridges are out there? How did other engineers solve this problem? We could have a beam bridge, which is a simple shape, something like this. So I've actually used an arch in between it, created two rolls of newspaper as well, and one on top. So we think this might be a little stronger. This could be a nice structure to use. And over here, we've used quite a lot of newspaper and we've made it into a truss bridge here. So again, this is using lots of triangles, trying to minimize the amount of tape we're using. And then if we test out, first of all, we're gonna try our um, measuring tape, that holds up. Then we're gonna try our little elephant. So this elephant weighs about half a kilogram. So if we move these slightly together again. Excellent. So we can see by using different kind of shapes and changing the structure of the newspaper, we can create really, really strong bridges. So there can be lots of different things you could use. You could use, you could create an arch bridge, you could create a suspension bridge as well. All these resources are going to be available on our website and through our social media as well. But the real challenge I want to set you guys today is, I want to see if you guys can build a bridge that would span 60 centimeters, which is that. So you can um, use a chair or two chairs and a table or whatever you want to use. Try and see if you can create a really, really strong bridge that can hold a heavy book or a heavy toy for at least 10 seconds and span 60 centimeters. So what you can do is, 
When you've got it all built, when you've improved it, made, made it the best bridge possible, you can take a picture and with your parents or guardians, you can send in your images, your bridges into um, our social media. So either Facebook or Twitter or Instagram account as well, because I'd absolutely love to see them. So let's see you guys engineering the best bridge you can. Thank you very much.